Hey everyone, in today's video, I will be talking about Monyangism. Just starting off by saying none of this is to hate on Won Young or even put into action by her. She probably is completely unaware this is even happening, so let's just not say anything mean about her in the comments. Girl already gets so much hate, it is unnecessary, and I will be deleting all hate comments against her. Also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or found it informational. It really helps me out a lot. And now, let's get into this weird world of Monyangism. So, let's start off with what is Wanyangism. If you're familiar with Wanyang Vibe, she's pretty well known and considered an it girl. She has a very distinct style. She has been in the industry for a while, but since she debuted in IVE, she's had a certain aesthetic that people find widely attractive. And people aren't wrong, she is gorgeous, and to me she always has been. But this Wanyang aesthetic became a thing, with aspects like straight hair or this wavy princess hairstyle, clear and glossy skin, pink glossy lips, glitter on the lids, princess slash famous it girl combo. It's really hard to describe an aesthetic, I'm trying, but maybe this photo collage gives you a better idea? This is Wanyang. This also goes deeper into her mannerisms, you'll often notice she has pristine posture, the way she dances and talks, it's all quite pleasing. There's obviously other idols that get praised for such aspects, but in Won Young's case, perhaps due to her being younger and thus closer in age to a lot of K-pop fans, as well as her already reaching such icon status in the industry so young, people don't just want to appreciate her, they want to be her. And that is how we come to Wanyangism. I will say, at the root of it, Wanyangism started as a very positive thing among her fans, with people encouraging each other to learn more about skincare and makeup styles, teaching them how to achieve different hairstyles, working on time management and motivation for either academia or athletics or um, performing arts, etc. Which is great, obviously, but clearly, if this was all it was, this video wouldn't be a thing. Wanyangism now has become a toxic, almost online cultish trend where people provoke each other and push and indulge in unhealthy habits. So let's talk about some examples of how it's becoming problematic. Beginning with the fact that Wanyang is obviously a fair-skinned Korean with clear skin. And obviously that is not the case for all her fans. Her fans are from around the world with different skin types and different skin colors, so to make clear, fair skin an aesthetic that is detrimental to achieve the Wanyang look is definitely exclusionary to those with darker or even tanner skin and to those with skin conditions. So there have been fans who ask for advice with acne, which is fine, but the replies are problematic. They are inexperienced, unprofessional young people speaking out of their ass, essentially, without understanding how harmful it could be. With recommendations such as Accutane or skin bleaching or even certain IV drips, just to be able to qualify for this aesthetic. So, if you can't tell, this thing has become something that was fashion and makeup advice to something that shames and excludes people who do not fit a very narrow and specific category. Which leads to racism and colorism. Fans of all colors try Won Young's makeup and post their look and get called either Korea boos or told that they just can't participate in this Won Youngism trend because hello, you don't fit the criteria. So apparently, to become Won Young's fan and to take inspiration from her makeup and hair, you need to be white or either a fair-skinned East Asian, or you get mocked and scrutinized. This is probably a good time to remind you that this is not all of Won Young's fans, of course, and I do imagine that such immature behavior has come from little children on the internet, but that does not mean it doesn't cause harm. Especially since these accounts are anonymous, and so it's hard to think of them as just immature brats. It makes it feel like you are being cornered. The second aspect is the obsession with Won Young's body. Now, I will refrain from talking about her body because there is already way too much of a discussion about it. 
I will just say, as much as K-pop idols' bodies look very appealing to a lot of us, they are not the healthiest to achieve, and for some of us, even impossible, because we just weren't meant to be shaped like that. This fact does seem to be lost on people who partake in Wanyangism as a huge chunk of the motivation or tips that these accounts provide is for weight loss. And please do keep in mind, this is not coming from nutritionists or personal trainers or dietitians or professionals of any kind. These are usually young teenagers anonymously assuming what workout or diet is going to fit everyone. For some of these accounts, they only share basic workout routines, which is fine, maybe a bit exclusionary as it assumes everyone is able-bodied, however, the workout themselves are basic and tend to be tame. The motivation and diet, on the other hand, is where it gets scary. Let's start off with the motivation. A lot of these accounts do this thing where they give you a choice to choose between soft motivation or harsh motivation. Basically like choose your own adventure kind of deal. But oh my gosh, I was just scrolling on my For You page, not even participating in this, and basically got yelled at by a random child on the internet. Some of the phrases they use aren't even helpful, they are just rude. These motivations are obviously meant to cater to multiple people, but tend to be so extremely targeted. What do you mean a minute on the lips? Are we not supposed to eat? Maybe even indulge in junk food from time to time without feeling guilty? Or feeling like this idol or celebrity that doesn't even know us would be disappointed in us? What about those of us with school or jobs or other responsibilities that couldn't find the time to work out that day? Or people who aren't able to? Do they really deserve to be berated like this by strangers who don't even know them? Well, if it isn't for you, just ignore it. That's the thing, though. These kinds of TikToks appear on people's For You page if they're interested in any similar topics, such as K-pop or IVE, and now suddenly I'm being yelled at by a 14-year-old for not working out while I'm just trying to have a 15-minute break between cramming for tests. Besides, I don't really think this is beneficial for anyone. A lot of these accounts also love Pilates, which is great. Pilates is definitely a great way to stay in shape, but again, it does depend on your body and your mobility, and it isn't a universal solution. There are accounts that almost insinuate that you need to spend money to get either the equipment or to go to a Pilates class. But are you going to pay for my Pilates class? Safe to say, they promote the mindset that on your first day, you have to go headfirst into this extremely hard workout routine, diet, and stick to it, and if you don't, they shame you for it, which is never the right way to create good habits. You need to ease into them. And then we come to the diets. Just a quick trigger warning, I will be talking about harmful eating advice shared on these accounts, so if you want to skip this section, you can just jump to this timestamp. Regardless of if you want to lose weight or gain weight or gain muscle or whatever, there is always going to be a reason for you to need food. I am not a nutritionist nor dietitian, so I'm not going to give you any advice, but I will state the obvious that giving your body sustenance and energy should never bring you guilt or shame. These accounts share videos about what they eat in a day, and they severely limit their intake, barely eating anything, and on top of that, they pretend that these unhealthy eating habits are something to be proud of, or something that you should aspire towards. These are some of the types of comments that I see under these videos, and the replies are always so harsh. You are not following your own fave's advice. I realize that K-pop's obsession with skinny bodies is unhealthy, and just as a reminder, skinny does not mean unhealthy, but if you need to starve yourself or exert yourself to reach a certain goal, maybe that's your body's way of saying that that's not what your body is supposed to look like. It's screwed up that K-pop idols have to do this, along with their strenuous schedule, and instead of following them and encouraging this, we need to become more body positive in this community so that one day, the industry can be. Some of these wantingism motivation accounts are just immature, uneducated, yet very loud, exclusionist, colorist, racist, fatphobic ED encouragers. And it sucks because if you recall, the beginning of Wanyangism was truly just about this community of Wanyang fans coming together to not only appreciate her style and work ethic, but also learning how to incorporate that into their own daily routine. And now, it's a toxic online cult. 
and I've been observing these accounts for a while and I'm seeing them get worse. Some of these accounts have started to promote the idea of race changing through subliminals where apparently people of any race can become Korean, like Won Young, by listening to certain sounds and just focusing really hard. Can we maybe not do that? I'm seeing people share unhealthy subliminals to lighten skin, make nose smaller, give you aegyosols, etc. You look the way you look because you're supposed to look that way. It represents not only your family, but also where you are from. Are you really going to erase all of that just because of a celebrity you like? Beauty does not come in one form. Create your own beauty instead of falling into this trap of self-loathing and toxic cycle of trying to change everything about yourself because at the end of it, you're just going to end up still being unhappy. Because even after all of it, you are not going to be Wanya. Because you're not. She is. A lot of these accounts overlap with those fake K-pop groups that fans make, which used to be something fun, especially for younger fans, but now with face claims and body claims, it's just becoming a scary, creepy, damaging, Frankensteinian mess. I think a lot of this comes from K-pop and K-pop fans' extreme laser focus on beauty and beauty ideals in K-pop, especially when it comes to Won Young. It seems like all she ever gets talked about is for her looks and body, which sure are great, but come on, they are really not that important. And hyperfixating on them is just going to lead to this crazy mixture of low self-esteem and ridiculously high standards, and a world where absolutely no one will be considered pretty. And that is all for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you ever encountered any of these Wanyangism accounts or were ever a part of it. What do you think about this? Like and subscribe to support me and my channel so I can continue bringing you more videos and I will see you in my next one. Till then, take care!